Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with beautiful Natalie in Villa Poem and we are going to be taking photos here today. I'm going to be walking you through how I take the photos and everything. Um, so make sure to check everybody out as well. I'm going to link everybody down below. And before we get into this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button so not miss any of my future uploads. And let's get right into the video. The photos in today's video were edited using my new light medium preset pack that I released last week. I went for number five because I thought it was the most beneficial to the skin tones and it just looked the nicest on the image. I did tweak the settings a tiny bit because I always do that with each and every one of my photo. Every image is different and you do have to adjust your settings accordingly. If you do like what you see and you would like to check my presets out, make sure to go to my website anitasadowska.eu and you will see them all there. You will also get 10% off with the code linked in the description down below. Now let's get back into the video. Nice. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah, that's really nice. So right now we're working with like a nice afternoon light, so it's really nice and soft. Yeah, really nice. Beautiful. What if you open the door a tiny bit to like as much as possible on this side and just come closer on this side? Yeah, yeah, because I want you in the sun basically. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. So make sure that your body is in the sun because you're in the shade at the moment. At the moment, we don't have any sun. It's pretty overcast. So we're just working on what we have. We have the, the bikini matching the pool pretty nicely. Yeah, that's lovely. Gorgeous. Whenever I organize swimwear shoots in the afternoon, I always make sure to go for a bit later in the day. I never really shoot mid the day because the sun is super harsh and it's not very complementary to the skin. It's going to give you panda eyes and so on and that's not really desired. So whenever I shoot in the afternoon, I would always aim for around 5 or 6 p.m. in the afternoon if the sun sets around 7. I always give myself around 2 hours for my tests because that's usually all I need. Um, and then I usually get two or three, maybe four looks done uh, when I shoot for myself. Beautiful. Whenever I shoot with my models, I always want them to have a lot of freedom of movement. I don't like posing my models too much, as you guys know. I like them to be a bit more free and flowy. Um, so I just let them do their thing and then I just, um, if I see something that I like a lot, I will just tell them to stop and maybe do it again. But other than that, I usually free flow and I let the girls do their thing. I am lucky enough to work with experienced models that I don't have to over direct and I just feel like the images look so much nicer because of that. Yeah, beautiful. That's lovely. Makes such a difference with the sun. And because we're shooting in the afternoon, the sun is really nice and soft now. There's no harsh shadows, no panda eyes and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Love that. That looks really nice. That's already lovely, but you just have this big shadow on you. So just come out here a tiny bit. Yes. Perfect. Gorgeous. Uh -huh. Do you know what I feel would also be really nice? If we maybe had a shot, if you were like standing like this mm -hmm. with just the straps down, kind of like this and just yeah. kind of from, from behind, I think that would be nice. So on this particular day, I actually did another photo shoot that you might have seen on my YouTube already. It was the photo shoot with Milena that I posted a few weeks back and that was shot just before Natalie. So it was basically from around two until four and then Natalie was two until six. And it was very interesting to see how 
different times affect how the photos turn out. Um, when I was shooting with, with Milena, the light was pretty harsh and pretty unworkable. We pretty much had to hide inside of the house and just kind of stay in the shade because the light was pretty unbearable to be in. It was extremely hot, extremely sweaty, just not very nice. But for Natalie's shots, it was a bit easier. It was easier to be around in the sun. We had some really nice little spells. It wasn't ideal because the sun was going behind the clouds a lot and I didn't really do not want that. But there was a lot of times where the sun was directly in her face and that was really nice. And there was definitely much less panda eye and much less um, on flattering shadows on her as well. Nice. Yeah, so I'm shooting through the do door just to kind of create like an interesting visual perspective. So I'll open this time. So this particular sheet was kind of interesting because I was trying to make it different from what I just shot with the previous model. And situations like that are always tricky because you kind of have to make it look different, but at the same time it's difficult when you just shot in this space literally like an hour ago. So I was just looking for things to spice up the frame and just make it look different. So with Milena I was shooting outdoors and she was indoors, so I thought why not twist it up, mix it up a tiny bit, and go the other way around. So I actually stood in inside and my model was outside and usually you would think oh that's going to be super overexposed and not very nice and that would be the case but the golden door kind of worked like a reflector so there was still quite a lot of light on my model which i really loved and i think it made it look so interesting also having her framed in the door just created so much more of an interesting perspective as well it definitely creates the frame inside of a frame which i really like doing because i think it definitely elevates your shots a lot So usually when I shoot in direct sunlight, I have one rule to follow and that's shooting three hours after sunrise or three hours before sundown. And that's because that's when the light is the most flattering for the model. There is le at least harsh shadows and highlights. You don't get any unnecessary bumps showing up and so on on the model's skin. Um, the light is much easier to balance as well and it's not as difficult to color grade afterwards. So this is definitely something that I recommend doing, just staying away from the mid day because it's just not flattering and it's not easy and it definitely takes practice to master it. For the last look the sun was coming down and I saw that it was hitting the wall inside the building directly and I really loved it and I thought that the color of the green wall looked so nice against the model's skin and the white outfit so I just put her there in that little patch and I tried to get some nice shots and I'm so happy with it I think it looks so beautiful and I think it was actually my favorite look from the day and it's also because it was so different from my other shoes so sometimes you just have to look at things from different perspective and try and see different elements of the same building to make it look a bit more interesting. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and the photos. Let me know which ones you like the most. Make sure to check out my team. They will be linked down below as well as anything that I mentioned in the video. And if you did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.